All right, question number three. An end user has requested assistance from the help desk to install new video editing software, okay? The user wants to create several .wma files. Which of the following should the help desk consider before installing the software? Okay, so for number one, or I should say A, um, it's disk space. For B, we got network connection. And for C, we got aspect ratio and D, power supply. So let's think about this here. They want to install video editing software. And the user wants to create several WMA files. Uh, we should know by now that WMA files are just a type of video file, which is Windows Media uh, type of file. Um, there is that. If you want to Google it, you certainly can, but it's a video file. And then we know what video is and we know what editing software is. So it's a piece of software that allows you to make changes to videos like I'm using right now, basically, um, the way I'm editing this video in, in the way. And for that, we kind of touched about, talked about this when we talked about this Chrome OS device and how these things are not usually very fast and they're not very good at doing heavy loads, if you will, uh, of, uh, that didn't sound right. They're not very good at processing uh, things that require a lot of uh, uh, heavy lifting, I should say, not heavy loads. That didn't sound right. <laughs> so it's a video editing software. We need something that's going to be fast and something that's going to need a lot of, that's going to use a lot of processing power. So first thing we need the, for A, it says disk space. Chances are you'd have enough disk space. You don't necessarily need a whole lot of disk space. You do need disk space for video editing storage, um, which, which is fine. I guess that's something to consider. So you do need it in that sense. Uh, but in my opinion, for video editing software, you need a lot of CPU cores and RAM. But let's see if they'll even talk about that. Maybe we'll have to come back to this and maybe that will be the answer. We'll see. You definitely need disk space, but again, not for processing necessarily, but for storage. Because WMA files can be really large. Any video files can be large, but WMAs are, you know, particularly large. And then B, got network connection. See, this is where we get into a point where I could argue that you can set up a network connection that shares processing bandwidth between two different computers that will process heavy video editing, uh, heavy video editing uh, software. So, okay. Let me give you an example here. If you are, for example, doing special effects for a company, right? Let's say these people are doing special effects. Let's say they're making a new Marvel movie or something. Let me tell you, like even 10 seconds of that movie that has all those special effects and all those 3D things can take days to process on a regular computer. You can set up a network connection between two different computers that will distribute the load amongst them. Um, this is also, what's it called uh, when you have multiple servers? Um, uh, man, I'll, I'll have to convert. Anyways, uh, basically you're distributing the load between two, two, two or more servers or computers, and for that you need network connection, okay? But in this case, they're probably not talking about that. We're talking about a end user, just the end user. But then again, you know, we can get really into detail of this. Uh, the reason I'm not talking about it, about it so much is because I want you to know there are these things that exist, um, not necessarily the correct answer here. Aspect ratio, you know what the aspect ratio, for example, this like a square box. If you're looking at the square box video, that's four by three. If you're looking at the widescreen uh, video, like this video here, it's widescreen, that's 16 by nine. We, what we don't we don't necessarily have to worry about this. The user is going to deal with this on their own. You know, it's not something we have to worry about. And then we got power supply. Eh, eh you know, power supply. Your your computer is going to work. You 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 have the correct power supply. That's nothing to worry about. So I guess in the end we're going to have to, since we have no other choice. I wish we had CPU and RAM on here, or maybe even a GPU. Uh, on top of that, uh, like a workstation type of setup, uh, I guess the only thing that applies here is disk space. So in this case, we're going to pick this space simply because we need a lot of space to store these WMA files. That's the only reason, to be honest. Okay. All right, moving on to number four. <clears throat> okay, so number four. Oh, uh, 
the, I just remembered. So distributing uh, workload between multiple uh, computers on a network is called um, clustering. That's what it's called, okay? You can have a server set up in a clustering mode where they are distributing the, the workload equally.